Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from Tony, WB1GUQ, and he sends a very nice uh, diagram here, which I've uh, blown up, and what, what he's looking for is some information on his antenna uh, plan, his plan for an antenna. He's putting a new station together. Um, before we jump into that, I'd like to pay a special thanks to Robert Secor, my most recent patron. You too can become a patron by going to www.patreon.com slash ke0og. So let's take a look at what he sent over here. We've got this right here. Printed it out just a little bit bigger. He's got his house shack. He plans to use LMR 400 Ultra Flexible between here and the outdoors. And then there's going to have to be a barrel connector or something to attach this to the LMR 400 or equivalent variable cable uh, coax. that would be about 40 feet. So that'll be under the ground. Presumably this is mobile grass here. Okay, and then there are some trees out back. And he is thinking of, and this is a bit of a contradiction, he has a fan doublet. I think what he means is fan dipole, where he'll have the, the different bands out here, and he can do that for 80, 40, 20, 10. Uh, he could do a doublet. A doublet is not a fan. A doublet's just a length of wire on each side, usually about 100 feet total, so they're 50 feet on the side. Now he's got a tree 50 to 60 feet high at the apex. Now I've got to tell you how jealous I am looking at that. My trees top out at 35 feet and they're not going to hold an antenna at that height because that's the very top of the tree. Now when you put this inverted V up here, one thing about the inverted V is you want this angle to be greater than 90 degrees. Okay, a good angle is 120 degrees. Furthermore, you want to keep these ends up off the ground so a human being uh, walking through the area doesn't garret themselves on the thing. So that would be in other trees or something like that. Now you've got the problem, of course, of trees moving with the wind. So you're going to want to put bungee cords or something like that down here uh, so that everything can move with relationship to everything else. Okay, um, I suggest bungee cords. Uh, bungee cords are springs, which is a reactive element, but it's a leading type of thing, and so it'll keep the slack on that. If you use weights on this, uh, mass is also a reactive element, but it's a lagging uh, reactive element and so you can end up this is pulling this up this has inertia it'll keep going up and then it can slam back down and break the uh, antenna so that's why I'm suggesting bungee cords or something like that a spring okay now what would I change about this he wants to do 50 ohms out to a ballon now the ballon will attach to the ladder line. So he's going to go from 50 to 450. So that's a 9 to 1 ballon. Uh, okay. And then up here, this impedance can range anywhere from 30 on up, um, 30 to 50 usually. Uh, you're going to have a mismatch there, no matter what you do. So that is going to get reflected back here, and you're going to need a wide-range tuner if you're going to do it this way. Now, if what you're actually going to do is a fan dipole for these bands up here, which you can make very easily, I'd run the coax all the way up here, and put in a one to one ballon or a simple choke ballon 
or okay at that point there skip the ladder line I know the ladder line's cheaper but um, you could run that all the way up to there and if you tune the elements on this right you'll have something close enough that you can use just the tuner that's in your radio okay if you do put a ballon in here and go with the ladder line this ballon is 9 to 1 50 to 450 it's not a 4 to 1 ballon 9 to 1 ballon okay and you can put it in there and do that now again this is going to be a mismatch up here uh, because the impedance right there is 450 ohms for the ladder line and you uh, are matching that to what can be if tuned uh, 30 to uh, 75 ohm uh, coax right there okay now now comes the important part right here yeah, I almost insist on this one a ground rod right here this becomes your transition point between your ultraflex, ultra flex cable and your standard LMR 400 right here. You put in a ground rod. On the ground rod, you put in a lightning arrestor and you can put a hose clamp around that or something. And I like the Alpha Delta. Um, they're, they're fine. Um, and you bring your this coax to here and this coax to here and it's right there on the ground rod by the way that will re reduce reduce or eliminate a lot of the noise that you might find on the antenna otherwise also provide you some protection the ground needs to be outside the house you've got your lightning arrestor outside the house uh, before uh, anything goes inside the house now if you are going to put a ballon out here you've got balanced over here what this is going to want to do is look for a counterpoise okay I would suggest that one possibility is putting another ground rod right here and grounding the coax the outside of the coax the shield of the coax to this and then the ballon that'll make the ballon actually balance versus unbalanced right there so that's two ground rods so you're out 40 or 50 bucks for the ground rods this is probably another 60 or 70 for that thing right there now is there anything fundamentally wrong with this no no there isn't but the way you've got it set up you will probably need a wide range tuner so experiment uh, you can get balance from Ballon Design. DX Engineering um, will have everything. Uh, HRO has many things. These are your two uh, big suppliers, and then there are many, many smaller suppliers like Ballon Design. But you can get the Ballon Design through DX Engineering. Okay. So, in summary, there. Uh, we want you may need a, a wide range tuner if you do this as you've got it right here uh, and the other thing to do is if it is going to be a fan dipole you can actually tune that to the point where you can bring this coax all the way up to the feed point and you can if you want put a one-to-one -one ballon or a choke ballon right there a choke ballon can be made from just coiling. Uh, most people say nine turns, about nine inches across, and that will give you a nice choke ballon. The problem is it takes about 25 feet of coax, so that's about 30 to 40 dollars worth of coax. Or you can just build your, uh, just purchase a one-to-one -one ballon there. So there are the options right there. Okay, Tony, I think that answers your question. Um, I just gave you some options that you can look at. Uh, you don't have to implement everything at once. I would definitely put that ground rod and the. Um, 
and the lightning arrestor at the feed point into the house. You will also at some point want to bond that uh, uh, ground rod, meaning connect your station ground rod with the electrical utility ground rod that will be wherever your, your uh, electrical meter is. So um, that should give you a very nice uh, system. I'm really jealous of your high trees. I wish I had high trees here, but I don't. So there you go, there you have it. Now, uh, for those of you who've watched this far, might want to uh, consider supporting this channel, go to decastlercom slash support for ways that you can support it in addition to Patreon. Uh, there's also a place for one-time tip, and if you want to subscribe via Patreon rather than, I'm sorry, if you want to, if you want to subscribe to the channel with a monthly tip, you can do that via PayPal instead of via Patreon. So either way, whatever works for you. And until we next meet, 73. <music>